hey guys welcome back to another video here at creators theory in today's video we'll see how to create a loop animation in filmora but before starting this tutorial if you don't have the latest version of filmora then make sure you download it from the link in the description below and if you are new to this channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button to follow for more filmora related tutorials so let's get started with the tutorial the first part of the tutorial is creating the animation illustrations uh, that we will be using for the animation so as you can see, I am currently in Canva right now. So Canva is an online illustration and photo image editing tool that you can use. It is a good alternative to Photoshop and illustration. So you can use to create illustration in this. So as you can see, I have you can search for YouTube thumbnail and here create a blank thumbnail. So once you create a thumbnail, uh, what we need to do, we need to create a scene where the first we need to create a separate scene for this guy. So let me just show you how let's how it can be done. So I will bring this blue color into the timeline and uh, I will add go into animations and search for moon. And here I will go as you can see there is a moon. So I will just bring it. I will just decrease this size and add it over here. So now if you are interested you can add stars and other things around in the sky this you just need to search it and it will appear all over here so make sure you have this uh, png type of uh, star so just expand this across the screen and it will appear throughout the screen so you can position it like i will just move it backwards and it is now behind the moon you can uh, decrease the transparency as you can see uh, so this is the first uh, uh, image that we created now we need to create the image for uh, the main trees that we created so what i will do again i will go into this elements and search for forest so here you can see there are multiple trees so i will go into the graphics and here i will search for the appropriate tree that i want to add so from the image you might have recognized uh, intro you might have recognized this image so i'll just keep it over here and I will go over here, I will duplicate this and add it one more time. Again, I will duplicate and add it one more time. Now make sure you don't create half of the image like this because since we need to create a loop, we need to complete the image. So we will do something like this so it overlaps. And uh, now what we'll do, we'll add a river. So I'll just type river and let's see what graphics that we get. So as you can see, there are multiple river graphics. So I will choose this one and let me bring it over here and I will increase the size so that it fits. And then I will move this closer. Now what I will do, I will add some bushes. As you can see, there are some bushes over here. So I'll just drag them down and I will add them like this and I will duplicate multiple of them and I will add them throughout this area so now once you have added it what I like to do I move like to move it back uh, move it uh, in the backward position so let me just move, move it to back select go into positions and to the back positions to the back and now we have done with the ground screen ground image illustration now what I will do I would like to create something for this river for a moving image so what I will do I will search for a good board image so the multiple images that you can use so it's best you go into graphics and here you can see multiple boards so if you wish just to keep the image then you can just click select any of the boards so what i would like to do i would like to use this uh, gif type of uh, video so i will select this and i will do a back change the background color to green so that i can use the green screen effect uh, for this uh, video so now what i will do i will just uh, download it so make sure you download this as an mp4 file so just select this video and uh, download it 
and for the rest of the two image what you will do you will just go into png select transparent background and then you will select only those two files and not select this last one and then done and download these both separately so once you're done with the creation of illustration let's head into the filmora app so welcome to the second part of this tutorial so as you can see i'm in filmora right now by the way don't worry i have created a collection of these illustration if you're not able to create one you can go and download it from the first link in the description below i have created a free collection pack that i have created and you it will it is available for free usage so you can use them completely free for your projects and now let us see what we can do so first thing what we'll do will bring the moon the background which is we created so this is the one that i create and this is also a little uh, given extra effects as you can see so this is also available for free download in the description below so what i will do i will keep this uh, background for 10 seconds so the entire animation duration is for 10 seconds you can extend it uh, definitely so now what i will do i will add this uh, layer of the animation now if you add you can see this completely blends with the background and i will just extra i will just extend it and what i will do i will add another layer of the same image and i will extend it hide the top uh, illustration and select the middle illustration and what I will do I will go into the last frame over here and I will double click on it and over here what I will do I will move this completely outside and uh, as you can see it is exactly at the edge now what I will do I will move to the first frame and uh, over here uh, exactly the first frame and over here what I will do I will change the position to again the center so you can uh, so this is at the exact center now so as you can see a keyframe has been created as if you move along now what we will do we will un unblock the top layer and we will block this this layer and now what we will do click on ok now for now and again what we'll do we'll go into the outside of this uh, frame for the first frame first uh, keyframe we'll go into outside of the frame at the edge double click on it click on add keyframe and then we'll move to the last frame and we will move this completely in at the center so as you can see a keyframe has been created so now if you play this together so as you can see the join has been done and uh, both the images both the illustration has been joined via this uh, uh, keyframe now what i will do i will add this board into the timeline so keep it to project settings double click on it go into chroma key select the picker select the green color click on ok so now I will reduce the overall size of this board. I will place it over here. And as you can see at the end it is some part is not visible. So what I will do is just copy this, paste this again and bring this over here. And we'll decrease the overall size. And once you're done with that, let's just play the video and see how it looks. So as you can see this is the loop animation and uh, this complete animation takes place. So make sure you create the exact keyframe otherwise as you can see over in there are some gaps that is happening. So what you can do you can just overlap that by adjusting the keyframe and this will not happen again. So, so that's it guys with the simple loop animation tutorial. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, this is one of a kind video earlier we made a loop video effect in filmora so you can check that video out by clicking in the top right corner and if you guys like this video then make sure to hit the thumbs up button and if you want to see more videos like this then make sure to hit the subscribe button see you guys in another video till then see you